And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from MLS. It's Los Angeles FC, and they take on Sporting Kansas City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting 11 for Los Angeles FC. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And they kick off here. Not the best challenge, free kick. A bit sloppy in possession. Palacios Well you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch Stewart in particular What do you expect to see from him? Well he's one of those players you want the ball to go to He's such an exciting player And most importantly he's very effective As his goal scoring record tells us Showing pace as well as persistence in the build up Vela. Oh, nice ball over the top. Forced into the penalty area. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Alan Pulido. Russell with it. Rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Diego Palacios. Read it superbly to take back possession. Now, let's see what they can do here. Chance to play it in. Great block. So a throw in here. No well, foul play, says the referee.
And very deftly cut out. Eric Tommy. Russell with it. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. Good pressure high up the pitch. Vela. Firing it towards goal. Superb block. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. And they still don't have the ball. That has been a recurring theme. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And the emphasis is on creativity. Now potential danger. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Oh, that's a fine pass. He read the situation defensively and did his job. The first half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Determined defending. This looks promising. But they dealt with the threat first. A foul, but advantage played. Buanga. Oh, he's given the ball away. Jose Cifuentes. He's going forward well here. Can't miss, surely. And the keeper diving to thwart him. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. It's a short corner. Pialini. He does have pressure to deal with. And that is defending of the highest order. Alan Pulido. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. 
Moving the ball effectively. Chiellini. And he did well to cut it out. Walter. Well, no stopping him. But nothing comes of it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Vela. He's in with a chance. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again. And a 2-0 advantage here. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Johnny Russell. Really getting stuck in. An example of how to press. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And a decent save, full credit. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Going short. He's in behind. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Walter. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. But I think it's fair to say there was plenty to like about his performance in this match. Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution.